I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Taurus. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly general tarot reading for you, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do Taurus because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? As well, Taurus, is I would like to say if you do find some cards that resonate, I would really appreciate it. Taurus, for you to take the extra step and give this video a like and subscribe, Taurus, because it does help out my read tarot reading channel a lot. And I was super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Taurus. And finally, before we get into this reading for you, Taurus, I just want to say that I feel like tarot readings, tarot cards should be here to give you some perspective, some food for thought, right? When it comes to my weekly general tarot readings, I want you to think about it from a way of just something that assists you as you go throughout your week, right? For my uh, weekly readings for you. So keep that in mind, Taurus. Uh, I'm not here to make a decision because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards or any of that. But you get the point, I'm pretty sure, Taurus, right? So now, now that I have your cards set up, Taurus, let's just get into your reading. Uh, but also, let me know in the comments as well how you guys are doing, uh, Taurus. For me personally, I know no one asked, but I just feel like catching up with you, Tauruses. Um, I just have been, uh, I feel like this is a pretty good week. We're starting out, I'm just trying to start out this Monday really strong. So let me know how your Monday is going. Um, <laughs> well, I guess if you're watching this on a Monday, let me know how your week is going, honey. But, um... Anyways, Taurus, let's get into your reading. So for your animal oracle card that I wanted to get into uh, for this week for you, Taurus, is you have the Pueo card. Now, with the Pueo card, Taurus, I always see in this deck in particular, uh, I see the Pueo card as like, Usually when this card come, comes forward in a reading to us, I am just always like, okay, uh, they're in someone's spirit guide, whoever I'm doing the reading for, in this case, Taurus, your spirit guide, um, and so, well, I more so associate it with spirit guide personally, um, but go with whatever you believe in, honey, Taurus, I'm not here to tell you what you should be doing, what you should believe in, right? Um, just someone like your guardian angel, ancestor, perhaps, right? You'll know who you're being called to, um, but this card says your ancestral spirit guides are off offering you guidance, right? now so pay close pay close attention Taurus to signs and omens from them so as I was saying Taurus I see this as a card of uh spirit letting you know being like hey like there's something that they need to communicate with you there's something they're trying to get you on track in some type of way Taurus um I do feel like in this case there is this sense of where how would we say Taurus um I just feel like right now there's like a little bit of indecision for you in your life right now. There's something that you're you're tossing an idea of something. You could go down, I'm seeing a Taurus at like the fork of a road. And so it's like you can go down this path or you can go down this other path and you're not sure which one to go. Like one could be, I'm being shown like the matters like one could be like matters of just like the mind and logical thinking and the other one could be more passionate based right um i don't feel like this is a very black and white decision for you to make and i you sense that as well probably and so i would just say to us um try to connect with your guides because i feel like they're trying to definitely bring forward some type of message to you some type of guidance um yeah definitely let me know um but let's get into your objective card nine of pentacles yeah this is a card of spending time to uh with yourself taurus this is a card where you're kind of being asked to yeah again spend some time to yourself and with the uh nine of pentacles actually taurus this card is the thing message that shares in all the artwork for tarot um most with most decks is the nine of pentacles has an individual by themselves surrounded by pentacles um and then they have usually some type of Avery, some type of animal with them, right? And I like to see this card, uh, Taurus, as uh, you being in touch with your spirit guide, you just listening to your spirit guide to figure out which pentacle it is that you, that is like best for you, right? Which pentacle to pick from, because there are choices, right? So I like that signifier there, just something to address before we get into your actual tarot cards, uh, Taurus. So hopefully that message resonated with some of y'all. And now let's get into your objective card, Taurus. Now your objective card is the energy that you're going to be in uh, in this week, you know, just throughout the 
everyday events of your life and just going throughout your life this week you're going to be exuding this energy or called to this energy and for you guys you taurus you got the two of swords now yeah this is the fork in the road essentially for you taurus this is the card of where you have to make a decision and i feel like because like because you don't want to like make the wrong decision taurus or because you may not be sure what to do right now i kind of feel like you're in this place with some aspect of your life where you're just like your guard is up and you're just trying to take pause right i don't know if you're trying to just avoid the situation entirely and try to put something in the back burner and you're just like you know what just deal with it later right and i get this feeling taurus that this isn't really something that you uh can deal with at a later point i feel like you need to kind of address this situation now there's something i am getting but let's get some clarification on this right let's pull some cards let's see what's up with this two of swords let's see what three cards we can get for this taurus i have something in my eye right now <laughs> all right we have one more card to pull for you taurus and let's see so a few clarifiers that we have for you are two of swords Taurus, we have the Lover's card coming in for you. We have the, what is this? The Eight of Swords coming in for you. And then we have the Ace of Wands coming in for you. Now I don't read inverted because this is all intuitive and I don't like to fill you guys with which cards are inverted or not since it's not gonna matter with the message, right? So don't worry about that. Um, but Taurus, with this type of message here, you know, with the lover's card, this is talking about decisions, right? This is, you know, you could be weighing, you notice the theme here of two, again, just like your two of swords, just like that cross in the road that I was seeing, Taurus, it's just the common theme of like this or the other, right? But again, I don't feel like it's so necessarily so black and white for you, Taurus, especially with this eight of swords here. This lets me know of, um, yeah, again, you feel like almost trapped. Not, I don't want to say trapped, Taurus. You just are, you don't know, you feel stuck. You, you don't, you're not, it feels almost as if some of you Tauruses are asking for more information. You're just like, okay, like, let me, before you go forward as this Ace of Wands, you're just like, all right, guys, like, tell me what's up, right? And I understand that. So truly, Taurus, if you are at this place of indecision, um, figure out, uh, <laughs> I guess I should show you what gets this tulip real quick um figure out taurus this week if you are at an indecision the best way for you to connect and work with your spirit guide because i definitely feel like they will be able to communicate with you and just even if i just want to say taurus uh even if you can't hear them right a lot of people can't hear their guides um you know that's why you look for like the signs and the omens as the Puyo card suggests as well right um you know maybe for some of you guys Taurus, some of you guys relate to specific animals so if you start seeing like feathers show up for you guys like brown feathers maybe that's like your sign is you know look for signs is what i'm trying to say don't necessarily look for hearing a voice <laughs> so let's continue on with this message message now Taurus. this weekly message for you um we have the king of cups coming in for you as well Taurus. Now with this King of Cups here, this is where I'm kind of wanting a little bit more insight on because this is the centerfold of your energy for this week. So I kind of want some more insight of why this King of Cups is here. So we already have some of these cards coming out for you, Taurus. Uh, let's see here. All right. So the clarifiers that we have for your King of Cups, Taurus, we have the Five of Swords coming in for you. We have the Hanged Man coming in for you, which is actually part of your reading still. So this is the, going to be the second time that the Hanged Man shows up for you. You'll see later on what I mean, Taurus. And then we have the High Priestess coming in for you. So, Taurus, let's break this down. Uh, with this Five of Swords here, this lets me know someone that needs to... Um, I don't want to say needs to, but there definitely is some type of situation, Taurus, that... I feel like, I don't know if it's related to the fork in the road for you, um, but there's some type of situation, Taurus, that I feel like you already have taken action on. Um, I don't feel like this is foreshadowing anything. Um, this seems to be you've taken action in terms of putting distance, distance between you and some type of situation right that was best for your emotions that was maybe initially emotionally taxing for you in some type of way um 
whether if it's just like distracting your own thoughts or whether this energy itself was actually directly impacting you it seems like you're trying to uh release some of the stress that you've been experiencing um release some of this uh baggage that you've been experiencing with this situation so good uh good on that um especially with this hanged man and this um high priestess card uh, funnily enough, well, I don't know if it's necessarily funny, Taurus, but um, there does seem to be this theme of being extremely guarded um, in your cards, Taurus. So I do just want to say, I mean, just me as like identifying this as like a friend reading your cards, right, Taurus? Um, let's say, I guess my question would just be why? Why are you a little bit guarded? Um, if it's enough for me to see it reflect in these cards, Taurus, you might be pretty closed off at this time. So when you're really guarded in this way, you're kind of creating a blockage in yourself um, as well to not even receive messages from your spirit guides. Maybe even for a while, if you have been, this is what I'll say, Taurus, right? So I'm not like, because I'm not trying to gaslight you guys and tell you. <laughs> if, um, if you feel like you've been like disconnected from... I wanted to say from spirit because some of you guys may not be spiritually practicing towards um if you feel ungr if you've been feeling ungrounded or if you f have felt extremely isolated or outcasted for no particular reason or you could have a reason Taurus look at your how guarded you're being um, not necessarily saying open up to the people around you because you could have good reasons for it but just be aware that just because you're blocking yourself like you're keeping yourself you're keeping your guard up Taurus with certain things that are taxing in your life or could be taxing in your life that doesn't mean you need to have that energy for all aspects does that make sense uh there needs to be some at some point where you shift gears where you're not always maintaining being guarded because it could just lead to problems down the road um so that's all i'll say on that Taurus right it's, it's clearly clearly not too much of an issue for it to not come into like as a main thing right this is me just as a tarot reader just making an observation that probably not a single other tarot reader would even take note of <laughs> um but let's continue on with your reading Taurus I apologize for that side tangent so now let's get into your four of wands Taurus so with this four of wands here this is I always like to say this is that portal card and I actually always like to like I don't know why recently Taurus I've just been so into like getting y'all more involved with the artwork of the cards and translating the cards as well. Um, so with this four of wands here, you have, this is like the 1111 portal because you see, um, it's kind of seen as like with these four torches as like the 1111 and then creating the portal. But usually in most artwork tours, you'll see, you can like, <laughs> it's like entering something, right? And you're not alone in this, right? This usually can be a sign of like your guide, you know, right? Assist, you know, kind of foreshadowing your guide, assisting you and being part of this journey with you. Taurus or um, helping you get to that 1111 portal or um, we'll just leave it like that right so let's pull some clarifiers Taurus let's see what's up with this four of wands so essentially with this card this is kind of like you Taurus needing to walk towards something so taking action towards something so definitely I'm getting a sense towards that a decision does need to be made and yeah um, just looking at these cards it's confirming that as well so let's, let me show you these cards that we pulled for your Four of Wands, Taurus. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming in for you guys, Taurus. And then we have the World card coming in. So with this dynamic, Taurus, you need to break a cycle of some sort. You need to put yourself out there. You need to be a little bit more vulnerable. <laughs> I know I wasn't going to bring up the guarded message from before, but this page of pentacles, I see you as um, being the one. Usually when it comes to the page of pentacles, this is like you being the person that gets the ball rolling. Does that make sense, Taurus? And by you getting that ball rolling, not only does that get the wheels turning in your favor, not only does like it just start creating action uh, for you in your life, Taurus, but you also start breaking those cycles, right? With that world, with this world card, you're breaking cycles. You're um, this is how you start having new things coming into your life. So especially Taurus, is if recently you felt like you've been at this like stalemate almost with your life. Look at that, right? Look at where you could be putting more of a starting, like, the flow. You know, what is it? What I just said it earlier. Just be seeing where you can, like, get the ball rolling. That's what I was saying. 
see where you can get the ball rolling Taurus. so now let's get into your seven of pentacles Taurus. let's see what's going on here now with the seven of pentacles this is this is, high, this is highlighting Taurus of something that you've been putting energy into so i kind of get the feeling it's separate from these other messages so this is now spirit kind of directly speaking to you Taurus, on something that I feel like you guys are in the midst of this is something that I'm just feeling in the midst of experiencing. So let's see what it is. Let's see. Um, let's see something that you let's see what the seven of pentacles is trying to address. Right. So starting this out, we have the tower card coming in for you. This is already kind of making sense um, for y'all. We have the four swords coming in for you. And then we have the Ten of Wands. So, mm, Taurus, I'm getting almost like the sense that, how would I put this? And I feel like this is only going to make sense to a specific few Tauruses, but it's almost like you put your plants, like if we're just going to use this, view this as like a garden, Taurus, let's say it's like some type of garden, you started planting like raspberries in your garden. Um, it's almost like you've tended to these raspberries, some type of project, some like for these raspberries for like a few months. And then now you're like making the decision because you're realizing these raspberries are actually more of a burden for you to like manage than to actually, than what you're getting out of it. And so now you're kind of having a tower moment with this, with the raspberries and kind of like uprooting them, pulling them out. But it's kind of like... The experience that you had with growing those raspberries you can use this to um further your own like harvest for something else in your life like maybe blueberries right so i don't feel like it was a waste of time uh growing those raspberries necessarily but there does seem to be this push uh towards of learning when to call it quits on something and being okay with calling it quits, being at peace with that decision. Very specific message. Let me know if it resonates with any of you guys, uh, Taurus, because it was a very weird analogy that I used probably that just was more confusing than anything. <laughs> um, but now Taurus, let's get into your hanged man. This is your second hanged man, or technically this is your first one that I pulled because I pulled it at the beginning of the reading. Um, but yeah, something about your committing to a decision. Let's see what this is about, though. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Now, this is kind of highlighting Taurus of um, what happens when you actually commit to, like, going and making a decision on which path to go, Taurus. Um, I do get the sense of that. So let's see what Spirit's trying to say with your hanged man. So we have the Queen of Swords. Mm. Ooh, okay, we have the Three of Swords, and then we have the Temperance card. So, Taurus, let's just continue on with this raspberry analogy, right? You have, it's almost just like, you don't want to, let's say you didn't necessarily want to pull out those raspberries, right? Because you're just like, man, I just put a bunch of energy into them, right? I've tended to these crops for a while now. Is it something that, should I really, like, wash my hands clean of it? I feel like you kind of should. Um, with this hanged man uh, coming in here because it's showing to you like it's through this different perspective that you get to start seeing the sun. Now you also have the devil card coming in here with the high priestess. So you do have this sense, um, Taurus, that what it is that you need to kind of put your, like wash your hands clean of, uh, Taurus. You have this sense, right? Because you know, it's, I do see this kind of impacting you, but I feel like you're trying to just grit it out. You know, you're just cr cr grinding your teeth and be like, but here's the, th uh, yeah, you're grinding your teeth, Taurus, and you're just dealing with it just because you can. But something I just want to tell you, Taurus, just, to be, just because you can handle being inconvenienced on a certain level doesn't mean you should have to be inconvenienced, right? Um, and so I see you as this queen of swords needing to put proper boundaries and just like, saying to yourself and finally going be like you know what yeah i can deal with this yeah i can manage this but it doesn't mean you have to you shouldn't have to right taurus you need to with this temperance card open up and be willing to just like play the waiting game if someone's making you like a low ball offer right don't settle right because you know that you deserve you're worth more so 
messages are kind of all over the place, but I feel like um, they'll reach those that need that will need that it needed to reach Taurus. Um, but yeah, that's the tarot cards that I have for you for this weekly general tarot reading for you, Taurus. If you did enjoy this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Taurus. And then also, I do all the zodiac signs for the weekly general tarot reading. So if you have a friend that are, that is into tarot, be sure to share my videos with that friend. So in case they might be into my tarot messages. But until next time, Taurus, I love you so much.